Now let's talk about ideal model ammeters. Now an ammeter measures the current, the number of amps. Now, in practice, you often just use a digital multimeter set to current mode, but it's all the same sort of thing. Now, an ideal measurement doesn't disturb what you're measuring. So if you wanted to work out a wire and you wanted to work out what current was going down it, you wouldn't disturb it. You just have something that would look at the wire and work out what current was going down. Unfortunately, that's not really possible. The way you measure a current, so you have some current flowing down this wire, you have to break the wire and insert an ammeter, which is written as a circle with the letter A inside it. Now, an ideal ammeter behaves just like the wire you've replaced, so it's a perfect conductor, current just goes straight through. Real ammeters don't quite do that. Uh, they have to disturb the current a little bit to measure what's there. So in practice, they usually have a bit of resistance, and so they won't quite leave the circuit undisturbed. When the ammeter is inserted, usually the current will go down very slightly. But most ammeters these days are pretty good, so that disturbance is quite small. So they give you a fairly good estimate of what the current would have been had the ammeter not been there.